Hey guys, <clears throat> the chicken is here. We're back today with another Boomage video. In today's video, guys, you can see we're still at 2354. Uh, we've got about two and a half hours aside if we want to go back in or not before we hit four to four chests. Um, <clears throat> so I, I still honestly don't know what I'm doing. I'll probably have to jump back in at some point, but I'm going to wait until the last absolute moment possible to see whether we need to do that or not. But what I am going to show you guys today are some really good end of the season bases. So the one I'm running, do not copy this one. This one is just gonna get you straight losses. I mean, unless you're like around rank 21, it's not gonna do you any good. Um, so one of the best ones right now, I think is actually Mr. Zero AM. Uh, the front compacts got really hot again there. Um, no pun intended with the hot pot uh, edition. And you know, as you know, today and basically today, um, people are reaching or have already reached maximum tech. So unlocking things is no longer the big advantage. It's more important your base layout and just honing in your attack. Um, the attack I was doing, I think was fine. Um, you know, you can do a couple different things. You can still, Seekers are still viable. Heavy Chopper Rush is still a thing. Um, Kavan is good, Bullet is good. There's a few different options, but just pick whatever you're comfortable with that seems to work for you the most. Um, you know, over a given period and, and, and really just focus in on making that attack as, as perfect as possible. I think that's the best way to do things. That's typically what I do uh, when I'm hunting for the top 500. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, this one's really good. The front compact clusters came back here. And let's check out the next one. Uh, Mr. We'll look at Shishk and GE here. I think this is actually the better version of the front cluster because it has the grappler. The grappler... Um, the Grappler one uh, is really, really good, so I definitely suggest that you guys copy this one if you haven't already. Um, and then I really like Shish layout as well. This is also a, a, a really spicy layout here. Um, I think there's a, a version of this that has the Grappler over on this side or something like that, and it's really good too. But uh, these kind of compacts with the uh, with the stuff down here on the right side, um, when you have everything, you notice he's got the Shock Blaster in there too. Um, they're really, really dirty. Now, I took out a couple of these uh, style bases on my push yesterday uh, with Kavan fairly easily, but I don't believe they had the second um, prototype, so I don't think they had the Shock Blaster. Sugar is usually a good uh, a good base design too. So this is pretty similar to Shishk. It doesn't have the blaster. Looks like something right there is missing. Um, but yeah, that's a. Uh, that's kind of the style we're looking at right now. Um, yeah, I don't know where else we can uh, we can look at here. DK's usually got some sweet ones. So yeah, this one seems to be kind of the flavor of the uh, of the minute right now. Um, we can take a look over on the global leaderboard too, and I think most of these guys are going to be just fully parked and uh, not have bases anymore. I think these guys parked a couple days ago, so we might actually see some. Some more outdated bases at the very, very top. Uh, Legend rank three and 52 stars, that's quite a lot. This guy's obviously parked. Um, so let's scroll back down into people that are still competing. I do wanna see Stoneheart's base though for a sec if he hasn't erased it yet. Um, yeah, again, I think these were, those bases were all a rage a few days ago, but um, let's see. Let's see, let's go down. Damn, Alfredo's number 18 in the world, oh my God. Um, yeah, let's go down here. Zeros is usually a nice one. Let's take a peek. Nope, he's done. He is done. Uh, aggressor, Alex Zhu. He's usually got sweet ones again. I think this guy, yeah, he parked early too. <clears throat> uh, let's go down. Down, down, down. Doom's probably still playing if he's not a legendary yet. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like those bases, the, the the super wide spread out ones, aren't as effective now as they were when people first got to 70 hours. Um, so let's see. Let's see what Cameron's rocking. Yeah, so more stuff like this. That's what you want to shift towards, I think. I think that's going to be uh, the better option. So we'll go over the attacks yesterday, because yesterday we, uh, we obviously did the attacks, but we didn't really uh, go over what we were doing that well. So here's an attack against, that's perfect actually, against this base. And here's how I like to do these compacts. Now they are tricky with the grappler, but as long as you have Kavan, 
Um, the big problem with the grappler is uh, is when it get, gets bullet, right? So let's talk through this for a sec. <clears throat> Depending how you space your choppers, I mean, the biggest thing on, on this base is the Doom Cannon. The Doom Cannon is going to, I think, at two shots almost your heavy choppers. So what we want to do is we want to put the heavy choppers under smoke immediately. What's that going to do? What's the point of that? They're going to drop out heavies, which should ideally distract the Doom Cannon. Um, if it doesn't initially, it will once it gets onto that second shot. So we'll show you how this works. As the smoke comes up, the Doom Cannon is going to turn, and I, I don't know which one it's going to hit. It actually hit the heavy chopper there. Okay, so we lost the heavy chopper, but either way, we got some heavies out front, um, and that's the whole idea. You see over here, all these guys, they're all shooting at the heavies that are coming forward now. I mean, it's tricky, but uh, it's its not perfect, but um, that's the idea. And then I like to bring Kavan up from the back, as you can see now, using some of that uh, the, the purple winds and just resurrecting our troops and bringing the heavies up. <clears throat> So for Kavan on these bases, it's all about just re regenerating the heavies. I mean, if we lose a couple bombers on the right, it's not the end of the world. Um, but what we want to focus on is we're using a lot of second wins early because Kavan likes to do that. And he, he will get popped on this base more often than not, I've found. Um, so I'd use it like almost three second wins as long as they're going to be 90% heavies. Uh, you know, almost right out of the gate because that's what's going to keep this attack alive. That's what's going to keep it strong. Um... Yeah, but it's tough. I mean, as long as you're not fizzling on this, you should be able to get a somewhat decent time. In terms of time on the attack, I think we should all be aiming for around 130, uh, 140 if we can get into that mark. I know it's hard in some of these, uh, some of these really dirty ones, but you'll see from here, all we're doing... Uh, I actually use Barrage, I forgot to mention that. I use Barrage to clear out uh, this Sky Shield. Now, that's going to be definitely worth it, especially if they have prototypes under that Sky Shield. Um, and then we can just simply shock everything. That's the one nice thing about taking down a sky shield is everything underneath it is usually pretty strong and it's also usually one shock. Um, so yeah, I actually ran out of flares right there. So I just flare from here, grab the flamethrower, um, and then go straight over to the next one, trying not to waste or to waste as little time as possible. Um, yeah. So we've got to be very aggressive towards the end and you just got to pick your, uh, pick your battles. Uh... Uh, let's see here. Let's go over the last one. We got 135 there, so that's not too shabby. Um, <clears throat> so this is the spread out base. Let's not go over this because we've... Uh, actually, this one is kind of everywhere now, especially with the hot pot on the left. Um, it's kind of like it pulls you to the right, and the idea is that the Doom Cannon and the Rocket, they pelt away your bombers as they go down here over on this side. Um, so I'll show you how we were able to deal with that. I'll throw in a four speed just so it's easier. Um, so we still want to delay here, we want to delay Kavon and uh, delay some troops over on that right side. Um, and then bring the uh, <clears throat> the heavy choppers over there uh, along with the bombardiers. I messed up and let that one die. Um, and then doing that allows us to do a couple things. So now that we can at least get this side taken out, that engine room, close to maybe down to this doom cannon, rather than them fanning out all the way up over here, and also being able to take out the sky shield with the barrage, we can just simply go from here, boom, straight to there. So again, saving time. Uh, and that's what all these hits are gonna come down to, is just where can you find, you know, that 10 seconds, that five seconds, that 20 second difference of being able to just carve out the base that much faster. So we go there, boom, and yeah, just able to take it down really, really quickly. So pretty happy with that one. Um, this guy looked like he fizzled. Let's see. You guys all know how to do this base by now, I'm sure. Uh, Mr. Bobby, <clears throat> let's see right here. Hmm. Kind of the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so that's the idea. That's the idea uh, for right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, grab this stuff because uh, we're not officially parked. I think we are probably going to have to go back in, but I'm definitely going to be making a, a new base for that. Um, so, yeah, let's just line up these guys. And I think what I'm going to do, I think the base I'm going to go with, um, something like Shishks, I think. I think that's going to be sweet. Um, or what was the last one we looked at with the, maybe like this, either this one or Shishks base is probably what I'll be running with, with, uh, you know, uh, with a grappler. I think that's going to make the biggest difference. So let me know you, how you guys are making out. Uh, the end of the season is upon us. Not much time left, but, uh. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that helps you out with picking a base for uh, your last final push. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Chicken out. Back, back.